Productions. You guys are fucking canceled. What's up, bitches? It's your boy Maddie. Hey, <laughs> Mister Eight One Seven. Uh, in the morning. Hey. Oh, your podcast, Sancho. <laughs> I'm Lupa Chavez. Welcome to the Cancel Show. Welcome. And today we have a very special guest. Ashley B, La Chiflada. Hey, what's up, guys? Diamond. Yes, oh, I got a lot of names. You got a lot of names, a lot, lot of names. names. Miss left and right, if you come at me wrong. Just them cheeks. I, 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 <laughs> just them cheeks. <laughs> Man, it was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He yeah. like, which cheeks? <laughs> you win. <laughs> yes, but what's up, guys? I'm Ashley B, you already know, from Kano Win. You can call me Diamond or La Chiflada. Throw the post, throw the post. Hey, yeah, there you go. They already know. You, get, you made me think, like, we need a post now, fellas. Like, I know. Hey, after we, the show, we'll do that. Yeah, why don't we have a post? No, no, bro? but they, I, no, you can sue us. Be like, those two fuckers took my. Stole no, it, no, no, we need, right? we, need, we, need a, we need to be original. I need to go brand that. You need to go trademark it. You can actually yes. can. No, I know. <laughs> Wait, let's do it do before that. she does it, man. I know, just. Uh, as soon as I get home. <laughs> she, Tomorrow. She's like, before these <laughs> bitch ass motherfuckers <laughs> take our. Take our fucking <laughs> idea. Who's canceled now? No. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's nothing but love. No, we, but we do gotta come up with something like that. Yeah, yeah we don't have anything. Should. We do nah, the nah, finger. Nah, nah, nah. Mm. Something sexy. What says? What says I'm sexy, but I don't like men. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know. I don't know. Because <laughs> <laughs> I love them. Um, Kenny, help us. Help me out. The heart. Oh, the heart. yeah. Mm-hmm. You should. Hey, we do it at each other during the show. I'm trying to get my diamond. That looks like a vagina. <laughs> Look, I don't. That's why I don't do it. Cause that's what everybody hey, I want to be so nails. I know. It's the nails. I know. You know it, I ain't doing it no more. It puts a, it puts a little clit at the top, so you know. <laughs> when you did it, I'm like, why does it have? A, why does it have like like? I get it a lot, so that's what I don't do. I just, why does it have a claw at the top? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all gonna steal that too? See, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give out no more. Now you can have that one. <laughs> we we taking all your secrets, yeah. <laughs> right? So, no more no digas, okay? Mm. So yes, how is it working at eighty nine point three? Oh, I love it! I love it. If you don't listen to eighty nine point three, but listen to it tomorrow. Uh, but I love it. It's a very uh big family oriented radio. We all have our own shows, right? But when we get together, it's we're a family, like, right? You know, there's we built so many relationships. It's always a party. If you have not been to one of our Kano Win events, you need to go. Mm. We're actually having one tomorrow, um, at the Players Club in Oak Cliff. So it's going down. Um, no but shit. I, um, I could say that I'm grateful and I've learned a lot of things as far as becoming a radio host because that's how I started. Um, mm. Thanks to my team, Don't Trip Tuesdays. Mm-hmm. Got to show love to them, and that's DJ No Envy. Bionic and DJ Gambo. Um, so they've been uh, teaching me, you know, what I need to know, the ins and outs. And then with, you know, their love and support, I am now one of Dallas's MCs. So now I get hired to be on the mic and host shows and things like that. Nice. So, yeah. So you could say that um, I'm still growing. I'm still growing and doors are opening. So I'm very grateful. Very grateful. So how did you get started in radio? Ooh, long story. So I used to, li- I grew up listening to Kano Wan since uh, like nine years old. And I used to even go to, I don't know if y'all remember, but they used to have um, Latin energy festivals. Yeah. Man, those go way back. But um, I even went to those as a young teen, always listened to it, faithful listener. And then I guess you could say a blessing fell from the sky. I can't give too much information, um, but I give a lot of credit to um, Bionic. He's the one, he's a radio host on Kano Win 89.3, and he's the one that actually found me. Before I jumped on the show, I used to make their merch. So a little bit of history. Um, I also, five years ago, I started doing custom items for businesses, for like birthday parties and things like that. So now in 2023, I'm kind of transitioning. I still do that. But now I'm doing working on my own brand. Mm. So that's where I came with the La Chiflada design and things like that in the diamond brand. And so now I'm doing a little bit of both. Um, so right now I'm just like trying to like work it around my life because I have a busy schedule, busy life right now. So, yeah, that's a little history 
Um, and so I used to make um, Don't Trip Tuesdays clothing. I had started doing their t-shirts and it said Don't Trip Tuesdays. And I would always support them. They were one of my favorite shows. And um, the door opened and they're like, hey, we love your vibe. You're a people person. You like, you shine. Like we see what, you know, what you're doing out there. Would you like, are you interested? And I'm like, yes. Like who wouldn't, you know, who wouldn't want yeah. to be? So they've been teaching me, mentoring me. And there's a lot of other things going on, like happening behind the scenes. But I can't share that yet. You know, you know, yeah. I don't want nobody to give me no ojo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I you know, strongly believe in that. Yeah. Keep that shit away from her. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so I keep a webble right next to me all the time. No. <laughs> right. But no, like going back to Kane and Win, um, every show has has a different vibe, you know. But every show, it's like every DJ, every radio host actually puts their heart into it. And that's what I saw and what I love. Like it takes dedication to do what we do on the radio. You know, it's like going to work. You leave it at home. You know, right. you get on the radio. You're there to play the music, make people laugh. Make If they're having a bad day, we're there to make them, you know, dance. Right. We'd be like, but don't blame it on us. Don't drive and dance. Don't try to twerk at while you're <laughs> while you're driving. No, go ahead and twerk while you're <laughs> driving. And if you do, send the video. Send the right? videos. No, we tell them that too. We need proof. Right, we need proof. But I'm like, nah, don't blame us. Watch, um, watch but me yeah. do my own video. <laughs> huh? I said, watch me do my own video. Send it to me. Mañana. Yeah. Ah, I'm, I'm going to post it. Ah, man, I'm gonna yeah, tag me on the story. I'll and maybe, it. maybe you can make them do the splits later. May, I'm really? going to drive upside down twerking. Oh, you don't really? know? Huh? You what? Know? You're known for the splits? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, I got to see this. <laughs> Uncensored. <laughs> the cancel show. Right? After Uh-oh. Dark. Uh-oh. <laughs> but yeah, so I guess you guys going to hear it first. Um, starting in two weeks, I'm going to be jumping on another show through Kano Win still, but I'll be on um the Saturday show with DJ Reyes from four to eight. So Ooh. y'all the first ones, hot exclusive, that I'll be there starting uh next Saturday. You excited? Oh, oh yeah. Shit. Congratulations. Like, yeah. I'll tell you we're a whole big family. So I'm just grateful that, you know, he's welcoming welcoming me to his show as well. So yeah, I'm excited. We're all excited. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yes. So before yes. you got this opportunity, you didn't have any experience with radio. Radio, yeah. not the with the not the radio business side of it, but as a business person. Okay. Yes, as far as learning how to talk to people, business minded, all that good stuff. Like just a, you know, I'm not gonna say attacking, but going for what I want. You know what I mean? Well, my goals. Um, and just learning. You have to learn. You have to have to educate yourself. You have to change you have to be open you know to new experiences and when something's thrown at me i go for it you know yeah. what i mean i don't let any opportunity just pass me by you know i feel like when things fall um in your lap you got to be grateful and blessed and i always feel like things happen for a reason you know what i mean so I, yeah i'm here today that's good that's good yeah. congratulations yeah. congratulations thank you, thank for you everything. so much yes i see you on my timeline all the time <laughs> Going yeah, live. You gotta be active. Yeah. I, I see it all the time. That's why I was like, you. you know what? I gotta have her on the Aww, show. Oh, thank you. It means a lot. Really, it does. It truly does. And then, you know, we've we've actually been to KNO and we Okay. We went with the uh, accomplice. Okay, yes. Um, we had the, now and then. I mean not the that's Albert G, sorry. Yeah. On the um the K-N-O-N app. K-N-O-N app. Yeah. Yes. We actually and we seen the process. On Wednesdays. Yeah. Yeah. We yes. seen that process and it was yes. just crazy to us that Fast. everything is time and specific to a certain thing. Yes. Yeah. And nobody sees the behind the scenes. You mm. know what I mean? It takes a lot to it. Because I thought we were it. just gonna go up there, you know, they're gonna play some music. <laughs> yes. We're gonna have a conversation, yes. sort of like this. And then once we got there, I was like, bro, this shit's crazy. Yeah. Yes. Hey, you got 30 seconds to do this. Hey, you got 10 yes. seconds for this. Schedule. Yeah. This go. song, yeah. this song is gonna play for two minutes and 30 seconds and then it's just yeah constantly communicating then all right we're go go and i'm like oh yes. shit it's it, a lot it takes it, a lot so much love to all the djs out yeah. there like in the radio host everybody from the monday show to the friday show with dj kane shout out dj kane too he's man i oh, have a lot of respect for dj kane he already knows that, uh, but every show from Monday all the way to Friday from noon to 4 p.m. And then, of course, we have the late night show with DJ Flair on Thursdays from midnight to 4 p.m. And then on Saturday, we have the Tejano show from 12 to 4 and then Reyes, yeah, um, Reyes show, Baya, I love saying that, Baya, uh, from 4 to 8. 
So y'all gonna be hearing me say that all the time on See, Saturday night. She she be she, she just <laughs> she on, she stuck on radio mode. Right, I was gonna say <laughs> You see that, right? that yeah, just, it's like yeah. continuously all day, every day. Do you ever turn like, it off, like whenever just de- decompress? No. Well, that's what I'm going out tonight. Just like let me Hey, now she gonna be yelling that shit out while she dancing. <laughs> hey, if they let if they give me if they let me on the mic, I will. Y'all I check will. me out. I'm always Can't promoting, know but not only myself, and that's what a lot of people see that I don't only promote myself. Mm. Every chance I get, I show love to everybody, like across the board, like because I see the work, I see the dedication. Like you know, there's the world is so big. Right, there's enough right. for everybody. Yeah, everybody yeah. can eat. It's yes. the matter of you wanting to share that Thank with you. everybody. Yes, yeah. yes, and that's so true. Don't Thank be you. no stingy ass motherfucker. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dallas is big worldwide. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yes. And it's popping now. I mean, everybody mm-hmm. wants to come come out here. Oh yeah, I know. I'm like, why you want to come to Dallas? At? <laughs> and you from it's there though, bit. so you just yeah. like, why? Yes. <laughs> No, yeah. But hey, I mean, Dallas is beautiful. There's a lot to explore in right. Dallas. And there's more new more things are popping up. Yes, every day. People are growing. Businesses are growing. If you go on TikTok, there's thousands of things to do. Yes, and I never know. I'm like, that's here? Now, there's, <laughs> like, where? I saw, yeah, you keep <laughs> discovering shit. Yeah, yes. you're like, what? Like, I saw some go-karts. They, where? They just, uh, they just did or something like that that... It's a big thing about it here in Dallas. I'm like, ah, oh, we gotta go. I gotta go. I love. Ooh, yeah. that's me right there. Let's is go. it like a like a two story three thing? I don't even know. I just remember it just said it's, it's huge. I went so. to uh, Missouri like a couple years ago, and they had like literally a car garage turned into a go kart racetrack. I love go karts. That's what they're like. Dope. Oh, that I'm like, ooh, Sweet. I feel like Mario Kart. <laughs> <laughs> just Not going in yeah. circles, like it was fun. So yeah, I need to find wow. out where that's at. That's cool as shit. Yeah. Yes, I said the T. Yeah, know. please do. Or maybe we should go and make a video. Out Listen, of it. I'm so. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We always trying to make videos out of anything. Yeah. yeah, me too. Yeah. No, I know. I see you. you <laughs> I everything, try. I, everything you do, you I got so you going much live. footage though that I have not posted. Just making time for it. You know how it yeah. goes. Yeah, it's it takes a, time. See, yeah. I, don't, I don't go live because I feel like I would just stare back at the camera and just do that. <laughs> just stare. Hey, Hi people, guys. No, people get famous for things like that. <laughs> just stare. Or there's people that go live and go to sleep. Yeah. I saw that. Or they eat. I uh, can't do the eating ones. I, 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 <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> I, I hate know. watching people eat. Sucking on them crab legs. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Cardi uh, B ruined it for me. Yeah. I seen Cardi B do it, and I'm like, fuck that. Uh, Never again. I, I feel like people would judge me too much. You know, I you know, you know, oh, he's going for another one. You sure you want that one, bro? <laughs> Touch it. And then we feel bad. <laughs> fuck you. I'm going to eat this anyways. Right. Yeah, you get mad. You didn't want it anyways. Yeah. More for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes. So, so where yeah. is let's let's start from the beginning. Okay. Where are you from, Ashley B? I'm from borderline Box Springs, known as BS, growing up and Pleasant Grove. So literally the like I guess the city limit, mm-hmm. like the pole is literally between my mom's house and the house next to me. Mm. I never knew what Box Springs really was. <laughs> I didn't grow up on that side because I grew up on in the Pleasant Grove side. All my schools are Pleasant Grove. So, honestly, I claim Pleasant Grove. Like, that's where I grew up. Right. But growing up, rocky, you know, childhood. So, I grew up in sometimes in Oak Cliff, sometimes in East Dallas. You know, so I got a little blood everywhere. I got family there. All but, through yeah. the, the Dallas area. Yes. But I claim Pleasant Grove. Mm. Okay, yes. okay, okay. Yes, got a lot of memories in there. So she throws hands, in other words. Yeah, <laughs> she, just, yeah. she grew up in the ghetto. That means she, she know how to scared. fight. Okay, look, growing up, I was known as crazy. Oh, okay. I, I was because I I grew up with boys, right? Yeah. And so my dad, I was the only girl, so he always wanted to make sure that I could take care of myself. So as a little girl, he would always he started teaching me how to box, like. He would give me the people put the gloves on me and they put the gloves on my brother and me and my brother would just go at it. Like go at it. But he yeah. just like, I want to make sure that you could take care of yourself. You know what I mean? I'm like, I got this. Um, so <laughs> every time there was an altercation or something, um, there I was. That's not me now, okay? Nah. That name was like But that can always <laughs> come back. Yeah. Hey, yes. I mean She's like, don't get it twisted. It's, it's only a switch away, mama. She's like, you don't forget that away. shit. No, you don't. But nah, nah. <laughs> I don't got time for that. I got too much to lose. But uh, yeah, if it ever happens, if I ever need to, you know, defend myself, I'm good. Has that ever happened in, in like maybe where you're 
because uh, you're dealing with a lot of people. People are going to push your buttons uh -huh. uh, or ask you for autographs, taking a picture, or people will just, just touch be you. all in your fucking face. Has that ever happened where you're like, back off over, you know? No. Or, no? no. No. That would uh, give me PTSD, bro. Like, <laughs> I've learned that, because um, I get it a lot. Like you say, I run into people. And sometimes I like hide, like yeah, I'm just a regular person. I feel like I am a regular person. Let me, <laughs> let me, I am a regular person, <laughs> yeah. but people see me in a different view because oh, on yeah. the radio, they, they, they see like that they I'm you. here and there, that I get invited here and there, yeah. or I'm with so and so, and they're like, you know, so they see me as a celebrity. But I, at the end of the day, I'm like, I'm just Ashley B. Like, I'm me, you know right. what I mean? But like when people come up to me and I always tell them I'm open for photos, let's do a video, like come up to me. I've had people um, that run like see me out there, but they don't come up to me. They'll message me or find me like weeks later. Hey, I think I saw you here. And I'm like, why don't you come <laughs> up to me? Like, you know, but they were afraid to approach me. And so I'm like, I'm not, I don't mind to bite you. Uh, you know, just come up and say hi. Like, really? I'm an open book. Is that simple? See, beautiful women. I feel like beautiful women. Mm -hmm. I mean, would be like it's intimidating at times to come up and just say hi to you because I, mean, I guess but i'm open to the ladies and and the guys like you know or sometimes i get couples approach me and i'm like hey nice to meet you my name's ashley like, I, i'm always I'm, i stay humble i guess you could say yeah so i always introduce myself hey i'm ashley b nice to meet you and then i'm like hi i'm ashley b to the husband and the wife like both yeah and they're like can we take a picture i'm like yeah like you know like i'm always down <laughs> That's the pose. Nah, we got, I got, no, I got. if you go to my pages, you're gonna see that pose a lot. You're gonna I'm see not, that pose I'm, a lot. So <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be feeling it. So next time, I'm, I'm gonna. <laughs> no, we're hey, gonna what? do that after the show. After okay. the show, when we go to okay. the room to take the pictures, yeah, yeah. we're gonna so do the I, Ashley pose. When I do it, though, I'm shouting out to you, though. <laughs> So that I'm way you know. I'm down. I'm and then down. you know that if you're, oh, that's the way. Oh, that's him. I know him. <laughs> shout out. He's giving me a shout out. <laughs> no, yeah. I but didn't know Sai was out I don't, here. I don't want to turn nobody down. And it comes with, you know, what I do too. You know what I mean? And I knew, you know, getting into this industry, I'm going to get approached and I can't get mad. I'm not like, oh, like stay away. You know, like don't touch me or, you know, don't like nah. This. Don't touch me. <laughs> I'm going to touch No, this. I'm just, I'm just. I don't know. I just say hi. Like, I don't know. Show love. A friend of mine. Uh, have you ever met somebody that you forgot? Like, oh, we may. Hey, remember we may. Have you ever been like. Oh, yeah. That's uh -huh. happened to me. Plenty of time. I'm like, wait, remind me. <laughs> like, you know, I'm sorry, but I don't remember. <laughs> A friend of mine, Maranya, she goes, that, that looks bad. Start saying, it's good to see you again. Yeah, yeah. That's what I do. But when they're like trying to hold like a conversation, I'm like, I feel bad. I'm like. I, I'm sorry. Like, I'm where trying to I, remember, like, but know, I don't like, I'm remember. I'm so sorry. Yes. Nah. <laughs> That's happened to me before. When, like, hey, we had a conversation. I'm like, no, yeah, yeah. I know, man. Uh, you know what? I'll be right back, though. But it was good to see really? you. <laughs> I might have to use that. <laughs> I, I mean, I'll, uh, I'll uh, mm -hmm. trust me. Uh, my buddies, <laughs> they're like my memory. They're like, oh, bro, you were so drunk. Yeah. And you were just nodding your head every time they were talking. I'm like, man, I was out of there, bro. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> And the no. more the more I drink, the more I talk. Oh yeah. So yeah, me too. Now the more that I dance, I, I love to dance to everything, anything. Put a really? beat on. I love to dance from everything. All right, Kenny, put a beat on. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> not right now. Kenny, but, do what? <laughs> put something ratchet. <laughs> right. Back that ass up, bro. <laughs> that's, that's every that's a weakness for everybody. That's, right, that's a weakness for I'm every girl. Y'all make sure to follow the cancel show to see the rest of the craziness. There's if you want to see come. Ashley be back that ass up, you watch the show. <laughs> There's more to come, guys. Yay. Woo. Peace out. Double wave is cool again. Right. Oh, okay, forget about Kenny. All right, all right. <laughs> Bye guys. See y'all later. I'm gonna go live at Lena's. Bye. I thought she was I thought she was leaving already. I was just like, we just got started. <laughs> we just got started. I'm like, no. <laughs> I wanted just to give them a, a little little something. See, she's promoting right, bro. Yeah, yes. we need to start doing that. We don't do that kind of shit. No, we need to. We oh, yeah. We should have done it on ours. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late now. We're already going. I tagged y'all anyways. I okay. tagged y'all on Facebook. Yeah, so see? It's good. You got TikTok, I got right? you. Huh? You got TikTok, right? Yeah. Okay, oh, okay. yeah. Uh, uh, TikTok's uncensored. Hey. <sighs> no, no. We'll watch. We'll watch. We'll watch. <laughs> We're going to watch it together anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happens on TikTok stay, stays uh, on TikTok. Uh, you hear that, Kenny? <laughs> Attaboy. Send them to me. But, uh, <laughs>
So you are, uh, what else do you do? Like, do you do any musical act or? No, everybody asks, do you rap? Do you sing? No, only sing in the shower, okay? And with the music real loud, so nobody else can hear me. But that's the only time I sing. Really? Yeah, I'm one of those shower singers. <laughs> me too. Or when I'm out and about and, you know, a crunk song comes on, there I go, I don't care. But like, if you tell me to sing right now, I'm, I'm, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, nope, not me. Yeah, no. the other day, um, for Selena's memorial, I dressed up as Selena. I don't I've know if y'all saw yeah. that. Oh, that was I a whole different vibe. I Oak Cliff showed up. I mean, all of Dallas, I was everywhere really? that day. Everybody was like coming up to me, taking photos. There was probably like 20 or 30 photos I never got. Like, cause they didn't send it to my, please follow me and send it to me, you know, yeah. cause they took it on their phone. I never, I never saw them. I'm oh, like, oh. No. like, I didn't like take a lot with my phone. So shout out to you guys. If you see this, <laughs> send me the photos. Uh, but, she want to see how she was looking on that in that Selena outfit. Yeah, I want to like, see. Do that you is very, very was, popular. Uh, was like was the purple, purple outfit, like the burgundy. No, what? I didn't see it. I'm sorry. Can we pull that up though? <laughs> <laughs> so we can show the what people that are watching. Show, show the show the first the first photos, not the second batch. I post <laughs> the first one, the best ones. <laughs> that must be fun though. You get to hang out with people, party. Like, is there who's like the most famous person you've met? Most famous, famous? Ooh, not many, many. Uh, oh, well, yeah. Okay, you guys. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, I don't want. I don't want to say most famous. Um, but I love me some Big Tuck. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. To me, he's a, a Dallas OG. legend. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to me, he's like top on um, my, you yeah. know, top top Dallas legend. I actually like. I was listening to one of his songs. Yeah, yeah, Big Tuck. Big Tuck's yeah. always there. <laughs> A good one. It's the big freight train truck. CK. Freight yes. train truck. So yeah. I had the opportunity of um well I've seen him perform many times, but actually like meeting, like getting to like, you know, hey, he's like, I already know who you are. I'm like, oh, okay. Really? <laughs> so, How cool so, is yeah, that? It was dope. You know, I don't I don't realize who knows me. You know right, what I mean? Because right, right. I'm just working, I'm just doing what I have to do every day. It's always something. <laughs> I'm always like at like a ping pong all over Dallas. If they invite me, I'm there. You know, if if I can. No, Sorry, no, just to show the ones. Sorry to the ones that, you know, last minute, I'm like, oh, let me know in advance, you know? Yeah. Um, but I try. the You know, like I said, I try to show everybody love, you know? Everybody love. So, yeah. That is awesome. Oh, yeah. No, that's good. Um, so, who else have you met? Like, other rappers, other... Um, not so many rappers. I've met like a lot of Tejano artists. Um, we're actually going to have one tomorrow through the, through the radio. Um, tomorrow is Grupo Presion who will be in the building. They are also a Dallas, uh, Tejano group, but you'll hear us play their music all the time. If you love Tejano, you're going to love them. So that's who we're promoting tomorrow. Mm. That would be for me. Um, met a lot of other, um, Tejano artists, a lot of, Okay. I'm going to say a lot of local artists. Yeah. Okay. I got to show my local artists love and I try to show them love as much as I can because it's hard. You know, it's hard for them to, you know, get seen. So if they invite me to their events, there I go. You know, there I go just to show my face. Um, I was at Nubia's the other day because um, Greedy um, invited me. Greedy 214. He's a local um, rapper, um, Hispanic rapper in Dallas. He invited me to come out to Nubia's. I, I used to go to Nubia's um, over here off military and yeah. she has bomb food. Um, but he invited me. And so I had the opportunity to meet other, you know, local artists. But I got to give them a lot of love because to me, they're not, they, they might not be as big as these celebrities, you could say. But to me, they're celebrities. Oh, they're yeah. Celebrities to me. Oh, yeah. They they big. They they did something, you know, and you, yes. you followed it. You listened to it. So you, oh, you know yeah, it and so you like it. to it. Um, I used to go live on Facebook before the radio show, and then I I made a little playlist with local artists. So that's what I would play in the background. Like that's oh, just yeah. one thing, one way of me showing them love. Right. You know. All right. Can you um, pull up the the picture of her in the purple? No, yeah, I got known for that Selena outfit. Yeah. I actually bought it uh like four years ago for my Halloween birthday bash. Oh. I was known for my in Pleasant Grove. For my Halloween birthday bashes where we would have kegs, like, you know, like, that's old school. Back in the day. I know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so that's when I bought it. And then everybody just, I don't know, knew me for that Selena outfit. So I get, you know, come here, come there. And it was crazy because that day, um, oh, I met Chris Perez before, like, two years ago. He's really humble, really dope guy. Mm. Very, like. 
humble. I don't know. He was real cool. Like we held a whole conversation, everything, you know. And I go back to that being humble. Mm. Like I, I show a lot of love or I respect a lot of artists that are not like, Ugh, you know, like, yeah. you know. And he was just like, hey, you know, nice to meet you. And I got my little poster in my photo. And he did like shout out to Ashley B from Kano Win, you know, Chris Perez. Um, but that day, what wow, that was like three weeks ago. Um, I actually went to a Smooth Vega. He threw um, this event or was part of a, an event um, over there by the Trinity. Yeah. And they had a concert um, with Paul Wall. I've met Paul Wall too. Um, but they had a concert with Paul Wall and Chris Perez and his band and like a few other artists mm. from around um, Texas and out of state, Austin, I believe, here and there. Um, but I was like in the crowd, like, do you see me? Cause I was wearing that Selena outfit. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, do you see me? But one of the artists did, she, uh, she saw me. She's like, shout out to Selena. Cause I think I was the only one dressed as Selena, but I loved it. Like when I was taking those photos and that's off Jefferson, um, I believe on the side of top records Yeah. and, um, they has where they have the mural. And so I'm like taking the photos. And the wind, like, sun was on my face, but I was just having fun with it. And so you have people, like, stopping me as I'm taking it. Other Selena, um, like, dressed from kids. Like, it was so cute. And then you have people, like, driving by on Jefferson, Selena! And I'm uh, like, you know, hi, you know, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm nowhere compared to Selena. You know, I just uh, wanted to show, like, the love and the respect, you know. Yeah. <laughs> to keep her memory alive, of course. Of course. The queen? So, yes. Yeah, the, the queen. queen. The That's right. queen. And uh, I try to do the washing machine. No, I be trying. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. gotta show us the washing machine. Uh, not right now. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta show us. The I actually don't know what it is. You can't bring it up if uh, you're not gonna not show later, us. Later, later, later. later. <laughs> then you Let show me... us the washing machine. He'll show you the split. Oh, okay. no. <laughs> we'll do it together. <laughs> there you go. He always got me doing splits. I got asked that today. He goes, "Does he make you do splits in every episode?" I'm like, I don't know why he does it. He just, yeah. It's yeah. always a thing. So I learned the trick. He'll do it for pretty girls. Really? If a pretty girl asks him to do it. So if he doesn't do it today. Nah, I'm not pretty. Yeah. No, I, didn't I didn't make it. I didn't make it. No. Uh, yeah. no I didn't <laughs> <laughs> say it because I complimented your legs. Thank you. Because you look like you squat. Yeah, I, I try. Is that weird? Like a little meathead of me, right? Hey, how much you squat there? <laughs> no, just like... No, yeah, I try to put it um, just because I believe a lot in self love, and I feel like working out um, promotes that. You know, it makes me feel good at least. That's amazing. I like to feel the pain, the burn. Yeah, it's a love hate for me. <laughs> but you also love them tacos too. I'm telling you, Ooh. but that's why I have that's... to. I have to stay up in the gym. I have to beer and tacos like three, four, five o'clock in the morning. That's mm. gonna happen tonight too. You start, you start drinking, you get tipsy. <laughs> when she starts like leaning back, what I meant? Yeah, just give me ten tacos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. You're drunk at the Jack in the Box line. <laughs> I remember those days. Man, I'm so mad at Jack in the Box right now. Oh, Why? I'm Why? so mad because they took away the potato wedges. <gasps> they don't have potato wedges no, no more. No, it's been like a year. They weren't late. I didn't even know that. I haven't gone to Jack in the Box in a while. Yes. Wow. I used to open the tacos and throw some potato wedges in there with some hot sauce and buttermilk. You know what? I never <laughs> yeah, I'm like, That actually sounds good. I'm mad now that I can't get fucking potato yeah, wedges. So I'm like, what happened? Yeah, but that was my go to potato wedges yeah. and tacos at night. All right, so what is the best taco spot that you know? Or? Taco spot? Oh, I mean, at the clubs. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, um, uh, there's this taco joint in East Dallas. I don't know the name. It's on the corner next to that Starbucks. You know how to get there when you've been drinking. Yeah. Right? yeah. I just know it's across the street from Samuel Park, like right there. Like uh, oh, right next to Beverage Depot, like right across the street. I don't know the name, but they got some bomb tacos. Really? Yes. Players Club, the shout out to the cook outside at Players Club. The um the taco guy comes like at midnight, bomb tacos. Mm. Or I'm probably just tipsy. I don't know. Nah, they're nah. good. Nah, they're good. Nah, they're <laughs> good. They just taste better <laughs> when you yeah. come. Dude. Yeah, it's with limon and chile. Oh, oh my god. I'm not gonna lie, I've had that where I'm like <sighs> drunk and I go somewhere. Yeah. And I'm thinking like this is fucking amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then I go back with not being drunk and I'm like it's mm. okay. Yeah, it's all right. Simple. It's decent. <laughs> I remember them being better. No, yeah. I was high or I was drunk. <laughs> Either one. Either one. Yeah. <laughs> Being high or drunk makes everything just As slightly. long as your tummy satisfied. Right. We're all breathing heavy now. Man. <laughs> yes. So how many tacos have you scarfed down in one sitting? 
You don't ask a lady that. I'm asking. <laughs> In one know. sitting, maybe like if I'm hungry, hungry, got yeah. the munchies, part six or eight. Mm-mm. Oh, touche. You? <laughs> Twelve. 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 Now I'm like three or four. <laughs> <laughs> Me. She's like three or four. Yeah. Nah, damn, I got to work for this hard tomorrow, you know? No, nah, it's because... Me, uh, me on some. Nah, you eat more than I do, though. Um, you really? Yeah, he, he beats me. No. But the little ones or like the regular size? The regular size. No, man. regular size. I scarfed down like 10 of them hoes one time. So, man. I but, felt miserable afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> ooh. I, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, but speaking of munchies, I did bring y'all a little some some. Munchies? What, 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 oh, what is it? A little, a little gift. I had to bring a little gift. But since we're talking about munchies, it's something that I'm promoting on my website right oh, now. Oh, thank you. Thank you, yeah. sir. So for every uh, purchase, they get a, a complimentary munchie chip bag with my logo. It's like oh. a little thank you. So I have my little logo on there. And then oh, what I love about it is I promote all the time. So yeah. I had to promote my own business. So I put like my little uh, QR code on the back. You know, the little barcode has my phone number. <laughs> right. Oh, that's fucking dope. Yeah. Hey, so, Kenny one. I owe Kenny one. I, I thought it was going to be us two. Oh, oh, us three. I owe you one, Kenny. I got you. I got you. I know I'll be back. <laughs> oh, and then I gave you guys a sticker. Yay. I love the, uh, what's it, the leopard? Yes. Uh oh. Thank you. I've been promoting. Oh, you you be promoting. I dude. do. We need to have that kind of energy every bro. day, all day. <laughs> Kenny, make notes, please. <laughs> Kenny's like you lazy fuck. <laughs> hey, Barbara, get me in the photo though. Oh, right. <laughs> love this. That is dope. That is dope. Thank you very yeah. much. So no, thank you. You know for I'm gonna inviting me. Put this one on my laptop right there. So be, awesome. when I look at you, yes. Whenever I'm, I'm gonna be just like right there. <laughs> <laughs> on live, just looking yeah, at it. Like... <laughs> <laughs> the only thing he's looking at. <laughs> I'm like, what are you looking at? Yo, Turn the like, camera put it right there. Whenever I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! But yeah, uh, just a little appreciation for no, inviting me you. on the show. Oh, thank you very much. Yes. God damn it! Now we gotta do something better. Really? <laughs> I'll, I'll you send on. you. I'm making. I'm making him do a, a boudoir shoot. Really? So I'll send I you. I want to do one. I'll send you the picture. You want to do one? Yeah. Oh, you're giving me the link. Uh, we'll hook you up with Kay. Who's that? Uh, she's the one that's gonna do the shoot. Okay. I'm. I'm gonna wait till y'all do y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna send it to you. I do have photo shoots coming. And I, when I tell you this, there's people that have been waiting for like a year. I'm so sorry. Like I'm so. It's just the time. So I owe, I owe a lot of photo shoots. A lot. What, like, is this for, the start of a of a modeling career? Or? Well, no. Uh, even before the radio, everybody always, asked, are you a model? And I'm like, no. Like, I thought when I saw you, I thought that's what you were. Yeah, no. I'm not. You're a rapper. But thank you. <laughs> no, but thank you. Uh, but it's something that I've been thinking about because everybody keeps like telling me. I got a lot of fashion um, designers too. Like, you have to be a model. I'm like, I'm not a model. And they're like, you look like you can. And I'm like, eh, maybe I'll add it to my resume. But not yet. Not yet. Not yet. No. Not okay. yet. <laughs> yeah, oh, we just sure. held. Um, I was part of a fashion show with So Fly, So Fly, So Fabulous. So shout out to Charlie and the whole team. They hired me to be an MC that night, along with uh, three other MCs. Where we, me, and MC Loki, um, we hosted like the second half of the show. Um, so it was a fashion show slash uh, artist, like music artist show. So we had fashion, like runway and everything, and artists, Big Tuck, that's where he was at. I'm going to post those photos tomorrow with Big Tuck. Um, but I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like, I have so much stuff that I have not shared with the world yet. Oh, wow. it just, it's, you get busy, and then, yeah, and then yeah, you want to do certain things. You're just like, ah, I'll do it later. And yeah, and then later it never happens. Right? Yes. Damn. So I'll do that tomorrow. Because uh, he's probably like, where, my, where are our photos? At? But yeah, I'll post them tomorrow. I have to. Well, if you ever need a date to go with you, I, <laughs> I go. You don't even know she's married. No, I mean, I am. No, shout but, out to my husband. I'm not saying like that, but no, if you yeah, ever go no. by yourself, hey, I'll I, go. It's, it's always like an open. No, it's always an open invite. I'll let you guys know. I tell everybody that wants to come or interested in coming out. I'm down. Come with me. Yes. We're gonna get lit. 
No, yeah. The cats are so. No, y'all should what? come with y'all should come to Slay House next Friday then too. Every Friday I'll be there starting next week as okay. a, a host and on the MC. Yeah, Mike. the only time I have a problem is when you guys party during the week. It's By the hard, way, right? Who Accomplice. Party? Who parties? <laughs> he, he parties on Wednesday. Every fucking Wednesday and Tuesday. He's like, y'all should come out here. And I'm just like, bro. I, I got to work. Hard. Yeah, it is. And everyone's like, how do y'all do it? We're just hungry. Like, no, no, we're hungry the- too. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? We but got bills. It's, it's part of what we do in, yeah. that, in that industry aspect of it. I'm like, still trying to make it out there. But then I'm like, I, I don't know. I'm trying to come up with a good reason with my boss. We were like, hey, man. uh, Listen, uh, well, I don't know, you know. I'm going to go yeah. party. I'm going to go party yeah. because his name is Accomplice. <laughs> so it says no, it all. yeah. Like, you know, they were like, no. Nah. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Accomplice. Shout Shana out to the Lee, homie. Uh, Miss Mandy Ray. Beautiful Miss Mandy Ray. She's always showing me love. Mwah. I love you too. Uh, she's we love real you. good. Oh, we love you. Um, real good people. Very oh, big heart. She went to Slay House the first night I was a guest. And she's like, girl, I had to come out here and show you love. And so while we're there, I'm like, you want to perform? I'll get I'll 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 see if we can get you to perform. She's like, I'm down. So I got her to perform last minute. Um, nah. but she got on the mic and did her thing. Yes. Yeah. yeah she, and I was right next to her just dancing. She always ready, huh? Yes. I know. Yeah. So I love women empowerment. Like when other ladies show love to other ladies, oh, I love that. Because you don't get that, you know? At right. least with girls, you don't. There's a lot of girls like yeah. Or why her? Or you girls know be I mean? hating on each other yeah. way more oh. than, than they and need to. I promote like no, we gotta show each other love. And if I grow, you grow. Yeah, you know what nah. I mean? Yes. They don't. They don't think like that. No, not a lot. But I still show love to the ones I don't. You know? Yeah. Always. We need to. <laughs> and of we course, I show to. love to the guys. They show love to me. Well, guys are simple. Oh, we show yeah. love to like you show love to me. I show love yes. right to you. You know what I mean? Oh no, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like all this, like even. That's how simple. Even with the stickers, that'd be my day. I can't wait to. Uh, <laughs> He's gonna go home, put them on there, <laughs> all happy. Look what I got. My, <laughs> with my feet just like. <laughs> uh, what's that, Wizard of Oz? Yeah. <laughs> with the red, toes. the red toes. Let I me mean, the red toes, the red <laughs> heels or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Even people like you do. Uh, I got man. I don't. I'm not gonna go there. No. So, uh, <laughs> you already said it. You already said, you already said your feet. Okay. Yes. I get random things. I'm not gonna put nobody on blast. I really don't know who they are. You know what I mean? I I don't have time to like read. Like if I show you my inbox right now. Oh, it's I'm sure crazy. it's crazy. It is crazy. Read one. No. <laughs> uh, I got some on top of my head. But um, the thing is, I tell everybody, if you want to work with me, like, be direct. Like, don't be like, hey, because I'm going to be like, be. You know, like, don't, don't say hey. You know, um, but, like, that's what I tell everybody. If you want to work with me, like, message me. Like, hey, like, tell me what you want. Like, direct. Hey, I want to work with you. want to network or whatever. You know what I mean? Nah. Or send me an email. Be from, uh, you know? Um, because when someone says, hey, I'm like, do I even want to respond back to that? Because I don't know what I'm going to get. If it's going to be business or just another, you know. It's going to be a dick pic. Yeah. <laughs> no, but people are like, um, uh, are, are you interested in selling me like your feet pics? And I'm like, what? <laughs> I didn't respond to it. Like I, I would have sold the shit it. out of them real quick. I didn't open it. I just, you know how you can read, like, you know. That's all I saw. I'm like, oh, my God. So I get like weird things like that. But I'm like, you know what? I may, I'm, you're going to pay me for my feet. I, I, that's fine. Uh, you know, he's a, <laughs> wait a minute. Ma- Manny's into feet. Man. No. Okay, wait, look. <laughs> I knew he was going to say, oh. No, like a few months ago, somebody actually made a OnlyFans account with me. And I'm like, how somebody, how somebody making money off me? You well, know? Yeah. Because uh, I guess they saw it on social media. Like it w- went all over social media because so many people started screenshotting like, hey, is this you? Because I guess the way they were talking, I guess on their post, it didn't sound like me. So they're like, is this you? We just want to make sure, like, or, you know, let you know. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, dildos, like, all this stuff. And they were using, like, my face. And I guess they're, like, photo crop, like, photoshopping. Mm. But I'm like, that is, they had Ashley B. Kano Win as the OnlyFans name. Oh, wow. Like, yeah, I had to contact OnlyFans, another third party um i contacted instagram because they had a, a duplicate instagram account of mine they just um spelled it with a double y <laughs> and i'm like wow who's getting paid i might well, i might well just open one nah. all right nah, <laughs> nah. man yeah, i'm sure nah. that would blow the yeah, fuck I'm up though <laughs> how much money you'd probably make yeah i know but nah uh-huh. I, i'm good but pero, i might just sell the feet the feet right. <laughs> pero maybe <laughs> 
No, right yeah. We'll back. see now. Nah, I'm grateful <laughs> for, you know, I don't got to stoop that low, I guess, to do that. Yeah, I'm just grateful for where I'm at today. Well, that don't have to be your feet. I would take pictures of someone. Hey, <laughs> Pio, take your, take <laughs> your shoe off. Let me, let me show you my feet, bro. <laughs> right? <laughs> All different types of feet. Right. Before I leave, I'm going to take pictures of y'all feet. Nah, uh, I'm kidding. <laughs> send them to that dude. Yeah. Right? Here you go. We, we all make <laughs> or find a picture with uh, corns and all that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, find the ugliest feet, send right. it to him. Yes. He might still like it, though. Yeah, you, know? you never know. I don't know. I, I actually thought of that because there's an only, only fast for feet now. Mm. Feet hey. finder. Yeah, wait, how, do you how you know, right? He's so fast. Uh, you saw that, right? You better yeah. not edit this out. <laughs> oh, no. We don't edit shit out here. Uh-oh. Especially if I said it. Uh. If I say it, I meant it. It stays. So, feed finder, huh? <laughs> Man, you be seeing shit on the internet. Damn. <laughs> We're going to well, go home feedfinder.com. <laughs> I don't want to do that because hey. someone looks... I don't care. I'm not the one that falls asleep with socks all around them. Oh, was... Socks? <laughs> really? Somebody time. has a foot fetish one over time. here. No. Uh-oh. No, no more beer for you. <laughs> hey, he ain't stopped staring at your feet since you no, got no, here. No, no, I, I, my feet. <laughs> I got I got hard working feet. Uh, no, I wear heels like every day. So like, damn, you don't get tired. I'm like, I'm used to it. Like Really? Yeah, I'm used to it. Uh, she takes off the heels, feet. she still walks like if she has heels. <laughs> Literally, no, for real. <laughs> I be feeling like that, like I'm floating. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. No, but yeah. It yeah. is what it is. Uh, they're comfortable. Yeah, I mean, now they're comfortable. Beauty is pain. That's right. You see? <sighs> I'd, rather, I'd rather be comfortable. Fuck that. I know. That's why we, that's why we were just No, like but when I'm walking out the club, I'm like, uh, where's my chocolates? <laughs> Carry me. <laughs> hey, you yeah. Don't lie. You ain't even got no shoes on. You just walking out with uh-huh. no shoes no, on. No, that's nasty. No, uh-huh. you never know what people throw on the floor or, or broken glass. No, I, don't, I don't do that. I'll be like, Carry me. I'll be the like, floor. Carry me. Uh, or bring I mean, the car over here closer. Bring the car. <laughs> Driver. <laughs> I'm yes. Ashley B. Bring my fucking nah. car. <laughs> I don't even really think. Nah, if I was to like blow up, blow up like that, I, I still feel like I'll remain humble. Like, you know, or not get big headed. You know, I don't know. You don't personally. Think so? No, I don't think so. I guess the way I was raised. The way I got quiet. Everybody. <laughs> she lied. She lied. <laughs> no, I'm just a very grateful person. I don't know. Like, uh, I don't know. I think if anything was to ever happen, I made a lot of money, I'd probably still be... I'm an asshole by nature. Like, really? Just in general. You haven't been an asshole to me yet. Well... Uh, don't finish that beer. <laughs> it's because it's cause here we have to, you know... No, I know. It's it's a yeah. it's a setting where we have to communicate, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm cool with communicating with people. I have okay. no problem with it. Yeah. But, like, in the outside world, I'm just like, I don't like talking to anybody. <laughs> no. Like, like, I, don't, I understand what you're I don't saying. like fucking with people. Like I understand. It's because when you're in this, it's like when you have your own time, you're just like, I'm like it's, yeah. that's how I am. Honestly, like when I go to the gym, I'm in the sauna, everybody's talking, I got my air thing, music full blast, yeah. Tupac, Little Boosie, UGK, uh-huh. you know, Trina, I'm an old school, like, you right, know, right, right. Boo, like all that. I'm just jamming, like I'm even like dancing in the sauna while everybody's just talking, but I'm like in my own world, right? in my own world. And then sometimes people like, they ask me, I'm telling you, it's like, Am I glowing or what? But they were like trying to get my attention. And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, what do you do? Like, you look like you do something. And I'm like, I look like shit. Like, what do you see? Like, like you're all sweating and <laughs> no shit. No makeup, sweat. I don't care what I look like at the gym. You right, know? right, right. People still recognize me, though, at the gym. They recognize me. And I'm like, damn, I can't go nowhere. You know? But, uh, um, but I'm just like, I look like shit. Like, how am I glowing to you? You know, right. but they're like, it's just like, I don't know your personality. I'm, I'm not even talking. Like, you know, I always ask people like, how, why, you know, but I, we start networking in the damn sauna. Yeah. <laughs> and exchanging info, you know, things like that. So I've met a lot of people in the sauna. Nah. Just sitting there. Me too, but for the wrong reasons. But <laughs> <laughs> Really? But you, but you got that aura. You got that light energy that I don't, people can yeah. just, like, hey, I want to, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm to talk and to her. She says she looks like she does something cool. Yeah. No, yeah. That's actually how I met um, Jose. Y'all probably know him. Y'all do service. I was at an event uh, before the radio, and he came up to me too. Like, what do you do? You look like you do something. And I'm not. I just own a business. That's yeah. it. And then he like, but I get that a lot. And but I don't see it. That's what I'm saying. Like I don't. I guess I. I'm just me. Like this is me all day, every day. So I don't see what everybody else sees. 
if that makes sense. I mean, yeah, you, like, you don't <laughs> comprehend why they see it like Yeah, way. and then somebody else told me the other day, girl, like, you know what, how far you can get? And I'm like, no. Like, you know, that's what I'm saying. I, I'm so humble. They're like, you you have what it takes to get big, like, bigger than what you are. And I'm just like, I, like, I stayed quiet. I'm just like, how? Like, I don't see it. But, hey, cheers to everybody that sees what I don't see or sees me well, in maybe a different that's a good view. Thing, though. It's a good thing. It's wow. not a bad thing. It's a no, good thing. the reason I say that because it's like if you knew who you were, or what if you were arrogant about this mm-hmm. shit? You know, maybe you would have been like all full of yourself instead yeah, yeah, of not yeah. knowing now. Yeah, it makes yeah. you humble. Like I'm yeah. not like that. And if even if I was pretty, uh-huh. I don't care about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So see, so I'm saying with no makeup, I, yeah, I don't lie. So. <laughs> no, yeah. But check but nah. but, uh, I still yeah, got I'm it. Same. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get stopped all the time. I Ow. do too. I bet. Yeah, By yeah. cops, but you know. <laughs> it matters. You're right, you're right, you're right. Hey. It's still love. It's We're kind of love, but it's the only love. time I ever had someone at me. <laughs> they see you, they're like, you did something. Exactly. I don't know what you just did. But we're going to figure it out. Funny story is the other way Skip around. Out the car. <laughs> it's always that fucker that does something. I don't ever do anything. <laughs> he, he always, I get wrongly accused. Always. Of Same. Something. Yeah. Same, Same with putting down the bottle. Yeah, it's just, <sighs> Yeah. How many times you got to? <laughs> how many times you got to a fist fight at the club? We're talking about back in the day. Like, back in the day, <laughs> I don't carry myself like that. <laughs> like you know, the last like three years, three to four years. Um, you mean last week? Uh, nah, nah, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. If I'll get crunk to knock if you buck. Don't get me wrong. Like, that's just, my song. So you'll see me like knock <laughs> if you buck. You know, but I won't be like you know like trying to fight it, people. You bitch, you gonna own nah. Like back in the day, uh-huh. I say back in the day because. O U I, Cirque. Like mm. I used to be out there in those clubs from sixteen to like twenty one, so I was there. I started young in there, and so yeah, like when they play that music, it's rowdy. You know right, what I mean? Right. So you're rowdy, something's bound to happen. Or like whenever they will play Nuggy You Bug, the whole crew be like facing the other crew, like you know that's like starting stuff. So it, it happens, you know. Right. But you put yourself in that position. However. Um, no, nah, not now. <laughs> like, no. I wouldn't. Only if I had to defend myself. Other than that, I have too much to lose. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's no reason for you to oh, no. have any issues for nothing. No, no. And I don't get that. Like, I'm telling you, it's like everybody sees like a, like a magnet. I, I'm a magnet. So people approach me, you yeah. know, and there's always good vibes. Even if they're drunk, <laughs> they still approach me and I'm just like, hi, you know, nice to meet you. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can relate to that though. How? With the oh, with the good vibes was because yeah. like I have people approach me, but it's always not not like I know who you are. It's always like, hey man, you look like a person I could talk to. Yeah, and people would just start venting. To, it's happened to me in the um, sauna at the at, not a, <laughs> at the taco joint, not, not, the, not the sauna, but at the, the the gym, the locker room. Yes, and I'm like, oh man, this is the wrong place because yeah. there's always a to get naked and <laughs> balls are swinging right? and or, someone approached me like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and someone approached me and goes, hey, man, you look just look like a person I can talk to. Yes. And uh, it's happened to me a couple of times. Mm-hmm. Like the last one of the guys, uh, he, he approached me and he goes, man, I was just about to set it off. And, you know. Yeah, yeah. He goes, but if it wasn't for you, you know, it would have been a lot worse. I'm like, oh. Oh, well, wow. Thanks, first of all. Right. <laughs> but, I mean, uh, he was going through. He was, uh, you know, he was he was having a ho- one of those days where it was just unbalanced. Yes. and and you never know what people go through or what they're going through. That's why a simple hello and how are you today yes, can make a difference. A smile, you know. Well, I don't right. smile because I look, <laughs> I look like a pervert. Hey, really? have a nice day. Especially in the locker room. In the locker room. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, he he, no, he's going to be going like this <laughs> now. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> hey, you see that naked, that naked <laughs> hijito here? Mm-hmm. Pal chiquito. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, old men don't care. The other day I was sitting down. Oh, no. Nah, they've been through life already. Fucker, oh, yeah, they don't give a fuck. Yeah. Oh, people, fucker shit. stands right next to me, and he bends right over. I'm like, oh, oh la madre. I'm, just, I'm yeah. like, I didn't know what to do. I'm just like, well, <laughs> shit. Touching yep. the floor and everything. <laughs> Y'all ever see that video of the old man in the nursing home? No. The lady's trying to give him her his pills. Uh-huh. The, hey, you need to take these pills. He goes, you need to suck my dick. <laughs> She's like, sir. Yeah. Just take your pills. Yeah. She's like, no. You need to suck my dick. <laughs> you need to suck my dick. And I was, yeah. 
Once you get that old, you don't really give a fuck no more. It's don't. Like, what are they going to do to you? Yeah, what more can they do to you? Exactly. That's so true. And I go back to when I when opportunities approach me or whatever, or if I have an opportunity with somebody, I'm just like, take it or I'm going to take it. Mm. Why? Because you never know. Like, if that opportunity is ever going to come or just go for it. Because at this point, I don't care. I don't care. Like Cardi B says, I don't care who's in front of me. Like, that's what you run me in Cardi B. I get that a lot. I'm like, where? Especially when I had red, like, burgundy hair. Oh, I went to, uh, no disrespect to Cardi B, but I'm like, I'm Ashley B. I'm not trying to be her. Mm. You know what I mean? Or I don't see myself or. I didn't like see her. that until you said it. No, I saw it, but it's. <laughs> no, just... I've got that a lot for years. And I'm like, you know me? No, but I'm like, I don't see it, you know? But I'm like, thank you. You know, now I'm like, okay, thank you. But I went to New York for a week. Tell me why people thought I was her. I'm like, I'm not Cardi B. Like, people were, like, running up to me. Can I take a picture? I'm like, I'm not Cardi B. Like, I, I'm not Cardi B. I would have went with it. I would have went with it I should have. So like, I thought about it. Everybody said that, like, when I came back. But I'm like, nah. Like, it kind of got, like, annoying in a way. But at fun fact, I didn't know that she was there. Her and J-Lo and me. Uh, we were both in New York at the same time, same week. And we, all three of us, shared the same birthday. I'm like... I didn't no know that. Yeah, I didn't know that. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm like, okay, well, I guess we Libras. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We be crazy. Yeah, look up Libras. <laughs> no, we're crazy, but we have big hearts. Like, we Libras have big hearts. We, you know, it takes a lot for you to push our buttons. But when you do, like, you know. Yeah, the ghetto comes out. The ghetto mm. comes out. Ratchetness. Yeah, I, it's there. You know, they say once you get out the hood, it, you, you know. Oh yeah, the hood never gets out. Like you know, <laughs> yeah. you could move somewhere and you could, you know, I know live what I've been nice through. and comfortable. I know what I've been through. You don't have to tell me. Yeah, yeah. You, get, you can live nice and comfortable, be in a nice neighborhood, but oh, you yeah. still ghetto. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, just yeah. in there. Yeah, or you learn how to mold yourself. Mm. Cause I'm, I, I mold myself. If I go, if I have like a business meeting and I, you know, I'm like, oh hi, nice to meet you. Like you know, like, I, but I have that because I worked in the business atmosphere for like twelve years, right? As an accountant, so I learned like I have that in me too. Really? Yes. So, Dang. Okay. Very, and I feel like with all the knowledge, all the education, the life skills, so I've, I, I'm a little bit of everything, or you know, I could do all of it. And just, I'm just, at the end of the day, me. I go back to, I'm just Ashley B. At the end of the day, when I go to bed or wake up, I'm still me. And that's right. what a lot of people fail to realize, that behind the image, behind everything, you're still a person, you know? And that's what I, am I the only one that talks to my, yourself in the mirror? Like. I don't talk to myself in the mirror. Like, motivate, like. But I'm always talking to myself up. in my head. I do that too, all day, every day. Oh, <laughs> but well, I'm doing my makeup, you know. So I'm in the mirror. But I'd be like, "You got this. Like, own it. Like, be confident. Like, show out. Be yes, you. queen. <laughs> yeah. I take, my, I take my shirt off and I walk and I turn around. You're the king. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why not? Hey, everybody has something, and I feel like at the end of the day, people don't stop and realize that that everybody's new and unique. Everybody's special, and that's why I go by Diamond. Mm. We're all lost diamonds in the sea, and we just got to be discovered. We all got I something. agree to a certain extent. What? That everybody is My husband's going to come out now. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what, homeboy? She takes off her ring? Or she just rearranges hey, I got, it? Hey, I, this is why I carry this one. No. I, was, yeah, I believe it. No, just because a, a lot of people. Okay, so the reason I said that is yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there are special people. Yes. I think everybody in this room yeah. has a purpose. That's why he yes. does what he does. Kenny does what he does, and when we come together, mm -hmm. we all, you know, form something beautiful. Yes. You know, you have a talent. I, I think I have a talent. <laughs> but I try to have a talent. <laughs> but the thing is that, that a lot of people don't work. They Thank want everything you. given to them, and they, they and they want to tell people, no, no, I'm the star. I, yes. I, I am, I am, you know, I deserve all this. No, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They didn't totally put, they didn't do what you do. He, he Thank you. You see what I mean? That's what I'm saying. And I'm not go. Everybody. I'll let you finish. I'll let you finish. No, no, you got it. I mean, that's what okay, I'm saying. That's a prime example, and I'm. I love that you brought that up because I get that a lot. People are like, "Oh, well, I've heard it," or a little bird, you know, a little birds. Yeah. Oh, she just she's where she's at because she's pretty, or this and that. And I'm like, "Oh no!" Nah. Like, talk to my mentor. Talk to people I work with. The yeah. people that reach out to me. I'm working. I'm not asleep, being lazy. Like, I'm putting the work in. Right. I'm earning my respect, like as a MC, as a radio host, as a business owner, like everything that I do. I'm actually I don't sleep. 
you know what I mean? Like four to six hours, you know, on a good night, you know, that's the rest I get. You know right. what I mean? But because I'm not young and I'm not going to tell y'all my age. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you my age. You can guess. I'll let you get in a minute, in a minute. Uh, but but <laughs> <laughs> both... I'll oh. say yes or no, or like you're getting warmer. Okay. Uh, but um, but yeah, I love that because that's what somebody told me the other day that oh you're there because you know because you look good or and I get this a lot that I I got my body done and I'm like from where from where this is all natural but okay. I'm like thank you oh, so I used no to get BBA. No, no, I, okay because I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> And I'm being honest, I thought you did. Oh, hell not. I swear. My thighs match, okay? Uh, <laughs> I, I, I didn't look so. so no. We, we've had a few girls that had BBOs on the yeah. show. And that's. And, you know, and I'm like, you know, you can tell. Mm-hmm. Right. Because mm-hmm. a lot of them are like exaggerated, you know? Yeah, it's, like a wagon ass. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, I like to brag. I don't hate. I don't hate. I like that's what no. I'm like, donations. <laughs> I don't got time to work out no more. Nah, nah. If it ever falls in my lap, I'm. I might. I, you know, I've thought about it. However, I've heard like pros and cons, and I'm like, you know what? Um, I start promoting like I'm. I'm good with what God blessed me with. I'm just gonna you know, do some squats here and there, you know, and just be happy with what I got. Right. I don't know if I want to risk losing my life. Like, if is it really worth it? But I used to get upset when people would tell me, oh, she got a BBL or you got a BBL. And I still get that to this day. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I used to get mad like a year ago. Now I'm like, you know what? Thank you. Like, you know, I'm a, yeah. this is a compliment. Thank you. But no, nah, this is me. You're like, this it's is natural. natural. All natural. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah. Like, you're like, <laughs> bitches want to have an ass like this. Yeah. <laughs> but yes. Yeah, I got, my mama gave me this. Uh, um, Shout out to my mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, her mom. <laughs> we all thank you. Right. Uh, but yeah, you can guess my age. 35. <laughs> Up or down? 32. Mm, right. 34? No. 33? I don't know. <laughs> ah, I'm 33. Okay. You know, like, I'm an 89 baby. So I'm an 80s, 90s. More 80s. We, I'm 86. More 80s. 87. Oh, okay. I just look old as shit. Mm. <laughs> no, I, I can't fucking help it. Is that your natural hair or you dyed it? I dyed, he dyed it. it. Okay. Yeah, it's my natural hair. Cisco really? is his hero. Okay. Yeah. No, it looks dragon. nice. People yeah. dye it, the hair to get is, that This platinum. is all natural. Like. <laughs> I be getting like old ladies. They be like, oh, let me see your hair. Where'd Did you, you just your dye done? it? I'm yeah. like, no. <laughs> Give me your contact. Because <laughs> everybody trips out because they're like, oh, well, my beard was more black yeah, yeah, in yeah. the last couple of years. But you know, I, I've had my hair like this since I was like 28. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So everybody's like, you know, dark ass beard, yeah, 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 white ass hair. They're like, you dyed. I'm like, no, my brother's yeah. the same way. Really? Yeah, but I'm like, you're a platinum. You know, work it. Yeah, I'm yeah. embracing the fuck out That's of this. That's what I'm saying. It's yeah. nice. People pay like, money to get it's that. It's unique. Yeah. No one has that. I stand out. Like me, I really pay for my that. hair. I mean, I my daughter taught me. My shout out to my daughter. She uh learning how to you know do hair and this and that. So she learned how to mix it. So she started doing my hair. Oh. Yeah. And so she dyed my hair. I don't know, I don't know if y'all remember. At, like a few weeks ago, I had green hair. It was emerald green. Like a pretty emerald green. Oh, for St. Patrick's Day. No, I had it no? before that. Before that? <laughs> but yeah, I had yeah. it then too. Uh, but I love emerald green. I have emerald green, as you can see, rings. Mm-hmm. Um, but I love that color. And so I just want to, I need a change. So I went out black. Can't go wrong with black. So now I'm black. I'm not going to lie. I be thinking about dyeing my hair. To yeah. what color? Black. Because it's, it's my natural color. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just want to see myself how I used to I, I look back too in now. Me like, too. Do. That's why I haven't had this like in 15 years. I have not been. What? Yes. Wow. I've been a redhead for like 10 to 12 years. Yeah. Hey, so when I dye my hair, y'all motherfuckers don't make fun of me, all right? <laughs> we make no, you cry. probably look Kenny, we're gonna make younger. Cry. I probably look a little younger. Mm-hmm. I, I, yeah, I don't know. I want to see it though. You know what? I'm gonna dye my hair just for the fuck of it. Yeah, you should fuck do it. Yeah. Yes. Let me cut my hair again. Probably. You know what? I might do it next week because I'm. A, I got a haircut appointment coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> so bougie. Yeah. So you know, I'm, I'm, oh, yeah. I might Tag dye me. my hair. Yeah. Tag me. Twenty with Ashley B. <laughs> you know what? I actually wanted to do. <laughs> I wanted to buy that makeup to cover up the tattoos. Oh yes. Oh yeah. yeah. You can test it to see. What I want to really cover up all it. the tattoos and then dye my hair and go see my mom. Oh, so my mom's, my mom's an old traditional Mexican lady. Yeah, I understand. And she she doesn't like tattoos, you know. She don't even wear like long that. sleeves. Yeah. She, oh, yeah. Every time I get a tattoo, she goes, "Por qué no te pusiste uno en las nalgas?" Yeah. And I'm like, "It's coming, mom." Or you don't know. <laughs> you don't know if I got one yeah. there. Yeah, got a bullseye there. 
I'm gonna get her ass that too one day. I know, me too. I might do it Saturday. I'm I might get do it Saturday. Fucking me too. <laughs> I'm gonna get a trans stamp. I'm gonna get a diamond. Ah. Get the butterfly. <laughs> oh the butterfly. my god. The oh, yeah. butterfly. The butterfly in the lower back. Each cheek. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be doing the splits. <laughs> gonna be a hairy butterfly. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow! Too CBD much fun. Butterfly. Too much fun. Uh, I gotta get. I gotta get waxed before I get that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we did. We did have an idea to do that. Like to uh, get waxed, but we're gonna film it. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, y'all should. Well, we already had people. We're trying to talk Kenny into TikTok. going to film us. Well, we already had people like, nah, dude. Oh. <laughs> Kenny doesn't want to do it though. He said, "Oh, dude, that's too much." <laughs> He's like, "If I gotta see your dick." Uh, I like I'm come good. On. I like Kenny. It's not gonna be the first nor the last. Just so. Close your eyes. <laughs> No, no, I want You'll you eventually see my dick, Kenny. Hey, 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 and I want you to see. I want you to see. I'm going to look right While in. While he does the splits. <laughs> oh, wow. Kenny's like, y'all can't shoot here no more. <laughs> right, you I'm guys gone. I need y'all to get out of my studio. Yeah. Never, Kenny. We're stuck together forever. Or until our lease is up. Mm. <laughs> Or until we owe you more money again. Uh-oh. Where's my money? <laughs> I love it. So, what's like the craziest thing that... What's the cra- we still got to go back to the crazy messages. So, what's the craziest DM besides the feet pics? Um, or the dick pics? Yeah. Um, Do you get a lot of dick like, pics? I guess like the normal... No, I don't. No. I wouldn't know because I don't open them. Wow. If I see image, I already know. Like I don't even like pay no mind because I've learned you pay mine, they're gonna feel like it's an open door. You yeah. know what I mean? So I don't even. I'm telling you, like if I see there's code words, I'm like nah. I already know what they want. And well, she I'm here see, to she work. reads that first sentence. She's like nope. Yeah. Wow. No, I already learned. <laughs> Have you ever been like eh, maybe I'm at the guy just nah. one peak. Nah, I mean, I'm blessed with what I already got. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Shout out to the husband. Hey, That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so he I'm packing not, some I'm, meat. I'm not there searching. <laughs> He's going to be waiting for me at Lena's. Uh, hey, but, hey. but yeah, like I've learned from experience. There's, you know, things I'm like, nah, I got time for that. I'm I'm here to work. Right. Like if you want to work with me, I'm down. You know, other than that, I, I'm i good. Like, honestly. So does your husband be getting like mad about? Oh, uh, it's hard. Okay. I, it is hard, but I have, he's learned and he knew what it was, what, uh, um, the attention it was going to bring. Cause I had it before the radio business. I already had the attention be- way before that. I mean, from what he's known me, um, uh, but he knew and we, you know, sat down as a couple and talked about it, like, Hey, you know, if you know, if I do this, like what it comes with, it comes with a package, you know, it's just, it's just not it comes me. with some good, but with a lot of bad, yeah, too. a lot, you know? Um, but he's like, Hey, I'm here to support you. Big supporter. He's one of my biggest supporters. Um, so he's like, Hey, I'm down, you know, here to support you. Let's do it. You know, I'm here for you. You know, no worries, whatever. But, uh, him actually going through it was a little bit rocky in the beginning where he's a man and any man will get like jealous or feel some type of way when you see people just approaching me, you know what I mean? And you know, like trying to hug me, you know, I'll go like this, like, you know, like, what? You, wait, wait, you know, like, what are you doing? Um, if they're trying to hug me in the wrong way, you know what I mean? I don't know you, like, handshake, you know, for, like, handshake. <laughs> and now you get a half hug, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> or like a fist. Like, if I see, like, people I don't know that are really wasted, but they recognize me, I give them that, like. Because I already know, like, Chocolate. I can't control them being under the influence, you know what I mean? And right. I'm not going to put myself there, so I'll be like, you know. Respect, like nice to meet you. <laughs> Fist bump, <laughs> but like that's it. But no, so like, um, he it, it it didn't take him long. Like he understood, and he was like, "Hey, you're doing your thing. Like much respect. Like I understand girls and guys. Come, like I'm telling you, everybody comes up to me, even little kids. Like it's cute. I don't know, it's cute. But um, he's he he learned to. It comes with it. Like right. no matter what, it is something you have to deal with. And my big thing is, like I said, I don't see myself as a celebrity. A lot of people do. They're like, you're a Dallas. Like, and I'm like, no, like, I'm just me, you know? But, hey, I'm starting to, like, understand or I'm trying to understand what people see. Like, okay, that's something like, own it, you know? Like, you know, like, work, walk it, you know? Yeah. And um, so he, 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 he's good now. Like, 
he'd be like, hey, you know, or I'm I'm Omar or, or Don Omar. That's who Don Omar was. And or he'd be like, uh, I'll take the picture, you know. So he'll take pictures of me and fans too. Right. So yeah. Or he'd be like, Hey, so and so um got in contact with me, wanna work with you. So he's kinda like my manager too, in a way. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. That's good though. That's good no, teamwork. It really yeah. is. It you really take something. Is. So, I mean, it's gotta be teamwork for that. Yeah, and I give a lot of respect because I don't know, oh, some girl came up to him the other day and I was like, Who's she? Look at it. Oh, when the tables <laughs> turned, though. Oh, I, I I felt it. I did feel it. We were walking somewhere, and um, this girl recognized him. <coughs> and he gets a lot of publicity, too, because of me. And so, because I'm always tagging him, or vice versa, or people meet him out there, you know? And so, this chick walked up to him. I'm like, like she didn't pay no mind to me. Like, she didn't know who I was, but she knew who he was. And she's like, oh, my God, take a picture with you. And so, there, she was like, oh, and I'm like... So who is he? Huh? Who? Your husband. He's my husband. No, but wh- who is he? Don Omar. <laughs> now he's he's my husband, but he's always with me. Like um, every well, he tries to go to all my events. Like, and I go back to I'm very humble. So if I meet somebody, this is my husband. Like yeah, I yeah. always make sure to give him his respect because I know as a man it takes a lot to to see that and i saw it and, and i got her. i'm like it's fine I, i'm yeah. like now i understand how he probably felt with me you know what i mean yeah so tonight is gonna happen <laughs> not tonight is gonna happen she's gonna get drunk and bring it out no no go with that bitch maria <laughs> you take a selfie <laughs> that bitch wanna take a picture go take no, a picture but with what that he bitch said was, what he said was, i got fans too and i'm yeah. like okay much respect much okay. respect i can't to... get mad at you I can't uh, be mad. Those fans are gonna save you because I'm about to whoop your <laughs> ass. <laughs> nah, but I was like, it's cool, you know. <laughs> she didn't know who I was, but it's fine. <laughs> hey, you know you're like, bitch. <laughs> I really was in my head, you know. But yeah. nah, it's all good. I mean, you're human. It's gonna happen. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so much respect to everybody out there. I think anybody in the industry. I think that it just takes a lot, and you have to get used to it, and you have to learn. How to deal with certain situations? Oh, can you imagine? Yeah, that's yeah the fights. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, but you and the, and then at the end of the day, you can't control what people do or say. That is either. true. So if somebody messages me, I can't control. I didn't tell them to text me that. You know, like I <laughs> like I'm not holding their hand. You know, telling take like pushing the buttons. You know, so you can't really control what what they say or do. You know, you yeah. just gotta learn how to like. Not deal with it, but go like I don't know, like the go with the flow. Word. Yeah, go with the flow. I guess. Yeah. And then that's how they met you. I mean, mm-hmm. you're a public figure. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. I be getting into a lot of shit. <laughs> I like, what t- kind? I, I did tell my sister, though. Like, hey, I'm not know. inviting y'all with me, then. <laughs> no, not like that. But, like, I'm talking about with my wife. Oh, okay. <clears throat> like, I mean, we, we have, you know, we... we Cover like every industry. Okay. Uh, only fans, strippers, mm-hmm. oh, radio wow. hosts. Yeah, well, yeah. We do a little bit of everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Male prostitutes. <laughs> uh, Poor Nick Kenny. Poor Kenny. You want to have a good time. <laughs> you want that BBC. Ladies. You call Kenny. Yeah. <laughs> only on the weekend. Uh, only on the During the week, he's doing this. Yeah. On the weekend, he's that's when he slings that dick. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we I have, I have to communicate with. Oh, yeah. So many and that's different a people. Big part. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know. So I'm like, you know, I'm talking to a, a random stripper. And I'm like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. You like to be on the show? And then yeah. she's like, who fucks that bitch? Right. Yeah. And I, I catch her looking, and she'd be like, <laughs> or he'll be like, hey, we we interviewing that stripper this week, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. And she's looking at me like, what stripper? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, am I gonna go, or I gotta be there? I yeah. tell her, I'm like, hey, yeah. you know, at the end of the day, she's real cool with it. But at first, she's just like, what fuck it's only stripper? normal. We're only human. Yeah, like it's only human. Yeah. But I feel like having communication, trust, and the understanding that you're there at work. Like, it's all about work and business. Yeah. And that's something that even my spouse learned. No, yeah. I mean, and she that's what she told me. She goes, look, I just want to know mm-hmm. if you're going to have a girl on the show. Yeah. Like, cool, just tell me. Yeah, yeah, just tell yeah. me who she is, what she does. <laughs> mm-hmm. and, like, and, that, <laughs> and, that's, and that's all there is to it. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, cool. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, it'd be... And she's pregnant right now, so she's just oh, like hormones all Much over the love place. You, babe. Much love, uh, yeah. yes. And pregnancy hormones. She don't know if she wants to laugh, cry, or be mad at me. Yeah, <laughs> just get home. I ain't do nothing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the 
that's why that's why I show up with food. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm on my way home. Like, hey, baby. You gonna pick up some. Tacos? You hungry? I know you hungry, boo. You want something to eat? Yeah. She'll be like, "What are you gonna get?" I'll be like, "What you want?" Mm-hmm. But yeah, you can have whatever you want. Yeah, but after I don't even know how long I've been on the radio, like a year and six months. I don't know. It feels longer. It really does. But uh, after like six months, he he learned. Like he understood, saw the vibe, and then he understood what he got. You right. know, like he understood that real quick. Like okay, like you're beautiful, you're smart, you're a go getter, you're all about business. Like you know what you want, right? And you're 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 holding yourself together. Like I felt like I earned I earned my respect with even him. You know, it's like it takes a lot of work. You gotta earn respect everywhere, but. As long as I uh, he understands, I'm gonna do, and he respects me, and be like, "You're good. You could do that, or you could post that. Like, do you?" Then I really don't give a fuck what nobody says. Right. <laughs> like, right, my right. husband's yeah, okay as long with, as he's it. Good with it. Ain't yeah, no like as long as he's okay with it, because I get that a lot. Um, they're like, uh, like private messages from girls. Why? Why you gotta show your ass? Why you gotta take a picture like that? And I'm like, <laughs> show me the picture. Like the, even the Selena one, You're like, I got bitch? messages. What does it matter? And I'm like, I can't hide the shit. Like I can't hide it. We won't yeah. wear a fucking blanket. <laughs> it's there. Right. Like hey, it's you're like, there. bitch, don't be mad because you ain't got it. Right, you can see it from the front, you can see it from the back. You know, so I'm like, it's there. So it's like, and I'm like, and I told, like, I did respond to one, you know, but I wasn't like rude. Yeah, I was just like, look. If my husband's okay with what I'm posting or what I'm doing, I really don't care what you have to say because she was rude about it. But that was the first and last time I ever responded to anything like that. After that, I don't pay no mind to it. Mm. Like I don't, I don't want to give them my energy no more. You know, like waste my time. Like there's no reason girl, to pay attention I, to yeah, it. Yeah, day you don't know what I go through. You don't know what I'm doing, the work I'm putting in. You know, like nah. Like if you if you have a problem, then go do something. Like you go do something. I don't know. You know. I don't yeah. know. You gotta figure that out for <laughs> yourself. Yeah. Like, like you're not happy. It's your or, problem. You know? Yeah. You, you see it that they're putting it on you. Yeah. Don't get mad at me. Like I'm just. But see, you know, I won't give me. you this though. I, I'm gonna say this about you that you know uh, that you're here. Mm-hmm. A lot of people, and I've seen it myself, feed into the fame, and they feed into the whole. You know, they they start getting to the head, mm-hmm. but you know, uh, you you put together meaning thank you you know um you're not allowing that second as you know we all know that beauty fades mm-hmm. oh yeah you can be beautiful i mean you're thank i'm you. not gonna lie to you you're beautiful yes. you know but i mean that can go away tomorrow oh, or yeah. as you get older that goes yeah, away yeah, yeah, yeah. but a good person with a good heart and mm-hmm. having a respect for a husband never goes away no yeah thank so, you I'm, I'm, amen hey cheers flowers i don't have no you. more beer but cheers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> cheer i chugged it cheers uh, <laughs> i'm gonna you know what i'm gonna do that but, uh, oh sorry I'm gonna do the double. <laughs> the double take. I do that too. Oh, yeah. Right. No, yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Everybody to their own. You know, if you're out there making it, getting it, props to you. It takes a lot of work. And if you ever need me, never want to network, contact me. Yeah. Yeah, that's dope. Because not a lot of people are as open as you are mm-hmm. to actually work with other people. No, I, I want I feel like it goes back to life experiences. And and I'm young, but I've been through a lot. So you had a hard upbringing. Yeah, yeah real. So I, I and I'm glad it happened. You know what I mean? Because I learned a lot from those experiences. That now, you know, now it really helps. You know what I mean? I think back to that. And I'm like, you'll be good. You're fine. He like just keep going. You, or, you know, that, like yeah. it made me stronger. In other words, you know what I mean? And I use some of the experiences that I did go through now like today right or even those i help others like because i'm like you where people approach me and they start like spending their life story with me i'm like, i don't know you but and i start talking to them you know what i mean and i'm like damn like it's crazy like you never know what people go through or similar stories or you know or they need someone to talk to so i'm always i'm, I'm always for it always. yeah Always. Well, that's badass. That's what I always tell everybody. I'm, I'm glad that I grew up the way I grew up. Yes. It wasn't fucking great. I right? didn't have like a normal childhood. Me neither. It wasn't like one of those things where you could be like, oh, I remember this Christmas. I remember this thing. Yeah. You know? Thank you. Like yeah. we, we, had, we were on a podcast with some white guys. Mm-hmm. And they were like, oh, we had great Christmases. You <gasps> know? Don't bring it up. Don't bring it up. You know? <laughs> that shit shout out to Tales from the Fort. Hey, shout out to the homies. But I'm yeah. not going to lie to you. When he said that, mm-hmm. I literally went back in that time and I was just like, damn. Yeah. I was like. Like, man, these fucking dudes grew up and he's, you know, the right way. And I was just yeah. like, 
Man, meeting we, y'all makes me realize how shitty my life was right? growing yes. up. Yes. But then I look at what I do for my kids now. Yeah, you know the Christmases that I never had. Yeah, they have them. Yeah, you know I agree. the 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 dedication that I wanted from mm. people. Yeah, while I was going to school and trying to do stuff. Yeah, you know I didn't have it, but now they have it. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and I always say that there, there's people that go through shit, but there's people that went through Under like shit. real yeah. shit. You know what I mean? And I feel like I'm one of those that has been through shit, like shit, like real deep shit. Yeah. And so I go back to like, damn, I'm proud of my own self. You there know, you like it took a lot to understand like, okay, like girl, like you, you, you're making it happen no matter what. Like every day is, you know, every day is different, you know, but it's like, damn, like I'm grateful for everything, you know, right. because it's helped me and it's opened my eyes. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm 33 and now I'm just like, you know what? I don't give a fuck. Like I go back to that. I don't care what nobody says. I'm gonna do nah. me, and I'm not gonna stop nobody or because they got their feelings hurt or they feel some type of way to stop me yeah. from growing to where wherever this universe wants to put me. You know what I mean? Because I feel like I'm just beginning. Like I feel like this. I'm just starting. There you go. Honestly, <laughs> I mean you are. Thank you. Yeah, and it's a roller coaster. It yeah. really is. That's what I'm saying. Nobody like. If you're in this industry, only we know, you know, what it takes to even be here tonight, you know, right. here, sitting here, time away from our families, like no sleep, you know, like yeah. the hustle. If you have the, the, to, the hustle in you, it's going to happen. Like, you know, right. I don't know. Yeah. go get us. That's the difference. I yes. mean, like, you, like it's what he said. We went through so many things and, and make our characters. Now, mm -hmm. if you look at the people now. You know, I'm just saying, every pain is different. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, you know, you look at the kids now, I mean, they, what have they gone through? You know what I mean? It's yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. Likes, they're more about likes. And, yeah, likes. And being, People out there to get, like, Being bullied, the you know what I mean? I'm just like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm just like, oh, dude, wait till you hit, life hits you. Yeah, like, that's nothing. You know, yeah. Yeah, yeah and it's sad that social media has took over. But, like, even me, when I preach to my kids, I'm like, nah, like, I'm not going to let the world raise you. I'm going to raise you. There you go. Like, me. Not not, through your, not even your school, you know? Like, yeah. me. Yeah, your parents. So, yeah. yeah. And I'm, 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 I feel like I'm that mom now. Like, I went through this. Like, oh, my I, God. <laughs> and I used to be like, I used to say that about my own mom and mother-in-law. Like, like, dang, they always have a life, you know, life story. Yeah. And there goes me. I went through this. I don't want you to go through this, you know? But now I understand why, you know? Like, you don't want your kids to go through the same things or heads up. I've already been there. Like, I don't want you to go through the same thing, you know? Right. Save you. Save you some years of life. Right. Don't waste your time, basically. Yeah, yeah, I always tell my kids, I'm like, y'all motherfuckers think I went through some shit? <laughs> right. I, I, try me. <laughs> yeah. Like, try to be sneaky around me. Right. I'm going to fucking me find too. out. Yeah. Me too. I got eyes everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I know all the tricks because I did all the bullshit. Yes. <laughs> No, nah, yeah. Even when I go out, I'm like, no parties. You know, no party. I don't want nobody here. <laughs> when I'm gone, right. I got a camera. But I do have cameras. I'm like, I see. You know, I, uh, I get notifications. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But no. Hey, but it is what it is. But yeah. But, but yeah. But yeah, that's a little bit about me. A little, uh, Just a little bit. A little tad. A little, a little tad. tad. We need like uh, 100 podcasts. I'm down. <laughs> yeah. I, I like that, you know, like I said, I, I, I know that we all went through something. Oh, um, yeah. You know, when we sit down, we'd start, you know, even talking about it, yeah. I'll tear up. Oh, know, yeah. You know, and it's just, like I said, I, I grew up with a single mother. Mm -hmm. So I know what it is like to, to see what a, what the capability of a woman. Oh, yeah. And, you know, my mom, when she raised us, it was, you know, um, to, to get us ahead. Mm -hmm. And I didn't understand back then. Oh, yeah, because you're innocent. You're a kid. Yeah, you know what I mean? And even it was I was growing up, I, there was a, a thing where I would... Are you with my mom and this mm -hmm. and that? Now, if I could go back, I would take that back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, be like, oh, shit, she was doing it for me. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. again, now, I, now I'm looking at it, and I'm like, man, I, I have to do this. It's, to me, it's like what Ritty said, do, uh, what's it, get rich or die trying? Mm -hmm. I want to get, not just rich because I want to be rich. I want to be rich so I can help my mom, help yes. my family, you know, yes. I, I get out of poverty. And, yeah, and, yeah, and, help others. Yeah, there you go. That, and that's the whole reason. It's like everything I do is not for me. Mm hmm no yeah it's for everyone around me er yes amen mm. yeah you i agree I, mean? I think the same way it's not, yeah. the, what's this, it's not about the destination yeah it's a journey yeah on the like, journey that we're going you know i yes. got to meet you well yeah. i'm stuck with him forever 
<laughs> I'm the brother-in-law. So yeah, so. Oh, really? Oh, okay, yeah. So, yeah, okay. I didn't know that. I learned something new. <laughs> See, no one ever knows that, right? Like, no, I, yeah. I thought y'all were just like co-workers. Lovers? Like, I mean, know, business uh, partners. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're partners. <laughs> yeah. life. life partners. Oh, life. God. <laughs> In life. Mm. Okay. And Kenny. She's just like, okay. Gay. Oh, <laughs> Whatever happens here stays here. <laughs> nah. Las Vegas. Oh, okay. yeah, and, and we get we got granted a Kenny. Yeah. <laughs> really? Kenny's ours now. <laughs> <laughs> you have? He said he oh, said he's not. Uh, oh, I, I thought I'm he said I'm have? gonna see you guys naked. I'm like, oh, yeah. a little demanding, right, but okay. Kenny. But yeah, like yeah. I said, it's, 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 women have it hard. I'm not gonna lie to you, especially when it comes to kids. Oh yeah, I believe women have it the hardest out of everybody. And everybody thinks it's to eat. Like we're, I'm like, it's hard. Y'all you know? suffer the most. Yes, like we do a lot. Yeah. We do a lot. <laughs> Well, the old school mamas, though. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm a little old school, too. Yeah, no, no. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> I clean, uh, I cook. I don't got no maid. I uh, still do everything. But that's what I'm saying. The old so you're like, yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, yeah but, uh, but that's what I'm saying. Like, even like on Tuesdays when I get home, I'm, I, like, as soon as I get home from doing like meetings and all that, I run into the kitchen. There I go, you know, cooking yeah. like food, mole, ta- like tacos, uh, the uh, like whatever. I cook still. Yeah. People, like, you cook? I'm like, yes, I cook. Yeah. Like, asado, like. You think you these know? kids are going to feed themselves? Exactly. Right? <laughs> but they don't see that. That's what no one sees behind the scenes, you know? They only see what we post. But I want to do that, like start posting more. But it's, it's a time. Man. It's uh-huh. time. You should do it. And, and you yeah. also feel like if you start posting more, it's, it takes time away from. Thank you. Life is about time. Yeah. Like, I don't. These motherfuckers don't get it. Like, oh, yeah. You have 24 hours in a day. I mean, it feels like You want to <laughs> sleep. Hopefully eight hours, but you yeah. probably you probably ain't gonna get that. No, you see these bags. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to hide it with the makeup. And then you gotta, you know, you, you gotta, you got work. Yeah. And whatever that, I'm, I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure your work schedule is fucking crazy. Yeah, it is. But for every other person, you know, it's probably you know nine to five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, from this time to this mm-hmm. time. So there goes sixteen hours out of your fucking day. Yes. You got eight hours left. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You either dedicated to your family, to either your family. Trying to hustle some more money, trying to do other things mm-hmm. that'll probably better your life or whatever. But these things take up time. No, yeah, honestly, truthfully, I probably see my kids maybe an hour or two a day. Yeah, Monday yeah. through Saturday. And I mean, Sunday, we're birdie saying this today. Sunday is family day. Even if I take them to like a show, like a family thing, but I try. Yeah. You know, I do try. Like, if it has like family vibe, you wanna come with me? Sometimes, like, yeah, someone, nah. You know, but I'm like starting to Sunday family day. Sunday, no one ain't going nowhere. You know, y'all yeah. gonna stay here. We're gonna do something together. Yeah. Um, because I already, I like, I do miss my kids. Like, damn, but they understand. They're already, they're older. I started young, so they're older and they understand that. Not only that, they see my hustle, and so they're like, damn, like I'm proud of you, mom. Like, okay, like so they even hype me up because yeah. they see what I'm doing. You know what I mean? And I talk to them. You know, like, hey, I'm going to go here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to talk to this person. You know, whatever, whatever. So I've earned my respect. I go back to respect. Even my own kids respect. And they understand that what I'm doing is for them right. in the long run. And their, you know, future and so on, you know. So how old were you when you had kids? 16. Me too. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You know the struggle. Ah, you know uh, the struggle. You feel me. <laughs> no, yeah. And I have my second one when I was 17. Like, back to back. Oh. So I graduated with two kids. <laughs> oh, you graduated, Lisa. Yeah. Yeah. I did it. Yeah, no sleep, man. Oh, yeah, it was crazy. But I, I, and I go. That's one of the hardships that I know a lot of people that did it did it like women that didn't make it like graduate or you know they chose a different route and. But I even have like a little pamphlet. We had to write an essay, and I'm like, I have to graduate from my kids. Yeah. Because I chose to start early, and I can't like. Not not mess up their future, but it, it's harder. It's, it was harder, you know? And a lot of people don't understand that. They only see where I am now, but they don't know that I didn't have a regular teenage life. You know what I mean? I was a mom while they're out there doing, you know, their thing. I was at home taking my kids and doing my homework, you know? Yeah. And then the next day in the shower with the car seat right there, you know, I had it tough. Like, I didn't have nobody there to take care of me. I was like in the shower with, you know, with the bottle right there, <laughs> trying to take a shower to go to school. Like, that was me. So yeah, it's a lot. I have a lot of stories. Like a it's, lot. it's crazy too because I was a teen parent as well. Yeah, and you gotta like something for whatever reason something clicks inside your head. Mm-hmm. It either does or it doesn't for some people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For you, it clicked. You're like, oh shit, I got this kid that I gotta take yeah. care of, and you try to better yourself. Mm-hmm. 
Because for me, that's what happened. I had a kid and I was just like, oh shit, I can't be, you know, running around in the hood anymore, you know? Yeah. I got to better myself for my kid and, and do more because at the end of the day, I didn't want them to be the same way that I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Sorry. They're like, the club's like, where you at? <laughs> uh doing this interview <laughs> i know no it's on podcast yeah yeah but um yeah i don't know like everybody has their own story so i go back to much props to everybody we don't right. know what they go through even today like i know a lot of people even like ourselves that even though we're not 30s we're still out here hustling we're still out here working we're still out here meeting people like it's i see the dedication and when i see that there i go like a chiclet you know, like, you hey, know, what I'm we're going to do next? How you guys <laughs> doing? Yeah, you know, like, what we're going to do next? Like, you know, like, I'm telling you, like, if I can help somebody, I'm there. And vice versa. Like, you know, it's a love. You know what I mean? I Yeah, it's a, it's a lot. It's a yeah. Lot. It's a lot. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, we get it. We get it. Yeah. But one of the things that I will say about being a team parent, yeah, team yeah. parent is that now, you know, you're not old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have old kids you Shit, know it's my prime time yeah <laughs> right like you're not old but you have old kids yeah 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 yeah. So no you, i think they're my brother and sisters <laughs> yeah you, you can relate to them yeah. in a different way no yeah yeah so my son right now is 19 mm-hmm. you know and oh wow it, it's crazy yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. we have like the same interest in music yes. and we, we, we see Mine things old schools yeah. yeah we see things that it was it's, it's different yeah yeah, yeah yeah and then i meet you know his other friends kids. yes it's you different. know his friends and their dads are mid forty fives, fifties, you know, and me. I'm just like, yeah, yeah, that's me. Oh, okay. And they're like, that's your dad. He's so young, and I'm yeah. just like, yeah. I'm telling you, that's me. I understand. I feel like the cool parent, the majority. Exactly. Of the time. Yeah. I'd be like, you know, your mom fine. <laughs> <laughs> I do though. I say all, all right. the time. Or my kids. Okay, my son stopped coming with me to the stores because he, as a little kid, he got tired of people approaching me, like men. Yeah. Like, damn, you fine. Or can I get your number? Or, you know. Uh, and he, and he, he was like nine the first time he started talking shit. He's like, get the fuck. Like, he just went off. It was a townies mall. He went off. And I'm like, calm get away from down. my mom. No, yeah. I'm like, calm down. Like, it's okay. Don't pay no mind to it. Like, yeah. don't do not do it. It's fine. Like, so he like, man, I ain't going to nowhere. And my daughter's like, again? Like, can't go nowhere with you. Like, you know, it happens. Hey, you're like, I'm a fine-ass mom. Yeah. What you expect? But I'll be, like, I'll be like, I look like shit, you know? <laughs> Funny story right quick. And we'll, we'll end it. Uh, try to end it. But um, I want to go pick her up from school the other day. And I look like shit. Like, I was like, I had to go here and there. All these errands I was trying to do, like, in a short period of time. And I had just got out of the gym. So my hair was like a mess, mess. <laughs> I didn't care. Like, I don't care what I look like. When I'm not working, you know what I mean? Because I'm a regular person. I got stuff to do too. And so I show up to the school or whatever. I sign her out. And then she she comes out. She's like, looking at me like, why you look like that? Because I look like crap. Like, I'm telling you, I, look, I was embarrassed, you know? All right. And I'm like, I don't care. Like, it's okay. Like, I'm not here to, you know, like, look good for nobody. I had to come, you know, I was doing errands. I had to pick you up, you know? And so the next day she's like, oh, and I'm like, what? She's like, oh, these boys came up to Came up to me talking about if it was that your mom, and I was like, really? What the <laughs> else, what else did they say? And they're like, damn, she look good with them tattoos. And I'm like, see, and I look like shit, and you were worried. And I, <laughs> I said, but I still look good, you know, in their little view, you know, their little right. view. But she's like, man, I, like you know, so she's already like, ah, but she knows, you know. <laughs> but I go back to like, I'm just mean, like you can't stop people from coming up, like coming up to me or saying hi or. You know, yeah. I even had Walmart workers. I was trying to get some pork chops. So I was craving pork chops, with cornbread, <laughs> mashed potatoes, mac and cheese. Like, oh, I love pork chops. Anyway, and cornbread. But <laughs> um, I was trying to pick up some pork chops and I had to do that works there with the meat. He was like, hey, miss, you, you trying to get some pork chops? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, don't get those. Don't get those. Get yeah, I get these. you the ones over here. Yeah, get uh, these. These are prime. They're juicy. Yeah. And I'm like, thank you. You know, so I went home, cooked them or whatever, you know, made the sides. Yeah. And then I had to go back the next week and I went and go get some more. And I ran into him. And he's like, they were good, right? I'm like, they sure were. And she, my, my daughter, her name is Chelsea. She's like, really? <laughs> I'm uh, like, and we're just talking about food. You know, he didn't yeah. like hit on me or nothing like that. He was just being nice, you know? But people come up to me like that and I love it. Like, yeah, you know, I'm like, we're just human. Like, why not? Like, I don't know. Yeah, if there's a chance to conversate with somebody, why yeah. not take it up? You'll we learn need a that lot. more in the life instead of like, like, you know, mm. being all mad, you know, like yeah. negative. Like, nah. We don't got the time for that. No, nah, not me, like at all. Like, see me, I, I don't. Li- I be leaving people alone. So, like, I don't. <laughs> like, if I, if we were sitting in a, like, let's say we were on a fucking train or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were right in front of me. 
I probably wouldn't tell you anything because yeah, I'm gonna yeah, let yeah. you. I'm gonna let you do you. Yeah, I'm not yeah, gonna yeah, yeah, like yeah. bother you with anything. Mm-hmm. So that that's that's my. No, I, I that's just like to leave too. people at peace. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And that's me. I don't think I approach people at all. I don't think I've ever like approached somebody outside of this environment. Right. Like at the gym, grocery store. Like I won't approach nobody. But they come to me. But I'm like you too. That I do this for a living, and sometimes I need my own space. Like I need me. Like yeah. Me, you know. So I completely understand. It's like being. Uh, you pick up trash for a living, or you're a mechanic for a living. When you go home, you ain't gonna do none of that. You know, it's gonna stay there. I know a lot of people that do that. That's why I'm saying that. Like, uh, I know a lot of mechanics that that do that at their jobs, but they won't do it on their own car. Right. You know what I mean? They rather go pay somebody to do it because they already did it all day. I know a whole bunch of people like that, and I'm just like, you can save a lot of money. You know what to do. You know. <laughs> Some, but sometimes it's not about money. It's like you know. You're just I tired. deserve it too. Yeah, yeah, I deserve to get my fix. Yeah, like yeah, you're just tired of doing it. Like, <laughs> and then you know how hard it might be to do it. So you're just like, yeah, I don't want to go through that struggle. Yeah, I want to do that shit. I'll let somebody I do it. Hurt my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Not today. <laughs> All right. Yes. Well, thank you, Miss Ashley. No, yes, I enjoyed the time, the thank talk. You. I loved it. I had an awesome time. Oh, no, yeah. thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, if you want to. You know, say your Instagram or whatever, wherever people can reach you at. Yes. Let them know what time they can reach you at. And no, I'm, I'm, I'm telling y'all everything. Go do your thing. <laughs> do, do you. Do you. Yes. We're not okay, here. guys. You already know. This is Ashley B. You can catch me every Tuesday and Saturday on k 89.3 from noon to 4 p.m. Don't miss out. And then you can also catch me at Slay House starting next Friday the 21st and so on i'll be there on the mic as your mc so come check me out come show love and then you can also um check out my business at creations just for you my shopify.com and with any purchase up until the last day of may you'll get one of our munchie one of my diamond world munchie um check chip bags of course with your sticker you know show a little love but you can follow me on all social platforms facebook and instagram at ashley b canoen and then tiktok is diamond underscore og 89 until next time thank you the canceled show make sure to go follow them right now on youtube do it today follow us bitches (laughs) thank you guys for checking us out if you're listening to this uh, we drop episodes every week. We have different people all the time. Watch our fucking show. Like it, share it, comment on it. Even if you don't fucking like it, say something. Right? I dare you to. I'll argue with you, motherfuckers. <laughs> Hell yeah, I love it. <laughs> Peace.